Welcome to 7 National News and in your top story, UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, along with Dubai Crown Prince and Chairman of the Dubai Executive Council, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, viewed the concept for the implementation of the project named Our Dubai, Our Life, which formulates a future vision for the Emirates. The Ruler of Dubai also viewed the design of Dubai Monument, which is meant to bear witness to the vision of the leader and the people, and also to express the renewable and interactive vision of Dubai as embodied in social and cultural harmony among all cultures and members of the community and in its incessant progress. The idea of the project also includes launching the Design Dubai Monument as international competition that involves Emirati and international renowned artists to come up with the design that is compatible with Dubai's vision beyond 2015. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed expressed his satisfaction Satisfaction with the members of the Our Dubai, Our Life project and praised the efforts and ideas of the team, who then later presented him with an album of paintings by grade four pupils of Al Etihad Private School in Jumeirah. The paintings reflected the pupils' present and future for their city. And the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, also received the Chief Minister of the Indian State of Kerala, Uman Chandi, and his accompanying delegation on Thursday. The meeting, which took place at the Dubai Executive Council's headquarters at Emirates Towers, also saw the attendance of Dubai Crown Prince and Chairman of the Dubai Executive Council, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. During the meeting, Sheikh Mohammed and the Indian Chief Minister reviewed UAE-India friendly relations and ways of boosting economic, trade and investment cooperation between the two countries in the best interest of both countries' peoples. The licensing agency of the Roads and Transport Authority will start to issue occupational permits this month for some driver categories such as truck drivers, bus drivers, taxi drivers and private chauffeurs in implementation of the ministerial decision number 776. To be issued with this permit, the driver has to pass a medical test and also obtain an approved health fitness report as per the approved medical health fitness template used in the Emirate. Sultan Al Marzuki, director of driver licensing at the RTA licensing agency stated that the key requisite of obtaining such a permit is that the driver must have the medical fitness to practice safe driving. The new tests will be conducted in several hospitals and cl clinics across Dubai, encompassing measuring blood sugar and blood pressure, in addition to testing a variety of ailments, including eyesight, which may pose real risks during driving. Names of the approved hospitals and clinics will be posed will be posed posted rather on the RTA website and are also obtainable from the RTA call center. In its initial phase of implementation, the focus will be on ensuring that novice truck drivers are issued with medical fitness reports. An estimated 100,000 Filipino voters in the UAE are expected to turn up for this year's presidential elections, where they will pick 12 senators through an automated polling system, as stated by a senior embassy official. The voting started today and will end at 3 p.m. on the 13th of May, giving UAE Filipino expatriates a full month to cast their votes. PCOS machines, each with a capacity of 10,000 votes, were unsealed and checked on Wednesday Wednesday in Dubai in the presence of officials from Manila's Department of Science and Technology and the Commission on Elections, among other officials. Two more machines were on standby. Over in Abu Dhabi, there will be three primary PCOS machines and two on standby. Philippines Ambassador to the UAE, Her Excellency Grace Lerucio Princesa, stated that her main concern is the turnout. During the 2010 presidential elections, when voting was done manually, only 7,900 voted out of the nearly 48,000 registered Filipino voters in the UAE. Her Excellency added that they expect a greater amount this year. To our fellow Filipinos out there, uh, we are pleased to inform you that we are going to start the month-long overseas absentee voting for Filipinos who are registered to vote for the midterm 2013 elections. So it will happen in, in the Philippine Embassy from 8 to 6, starting tomorrow, April 13, until May 13. Just bring uh, any ID, your passport, your Emirates ID, and we're open from, as I've said, 8 to 5. 
and we can do flexi time if you think uh, you need to be there at a later time. I am also proud to inform you that because we have registered um, beyond 20,000 in Abu Dhabi and here also in Dubai, so we're going to be one of those uh, few voting places that will do automated election system or with the PICOS machine. So it will not be as uh, burdensome to count, but it will be faster. So see, it's easier to vote now. You just have to shade the name of the person that you want to vote for as a senator and also the party list that you want to choose. And with Filipino women making up a significant number of expatriates in the UAE, on Friday, the women, better known as Filipinas, gathered for the second edition of a Day of Sisterhood to empower one another. The event attracted women from all walks of life to the full-day affair. And according to Lelaine Chu Benitez, founder of the Dubai-based Filipino magazine Illustrado, this is a successful spin-off of the Women of Substance event, which honors Filipina achievers across the Gulf. She says through this platform, they aim to promote better health, lifestyle and successful careers among women as well as encourage them to help others in the process. I think moving forward, what we'd like to see with Women of Substance and the Day of Sisterhood Advocacy is that uh, our women also integrate with other nationalities here uh, in the United Arab Emirates because I'm sure that our issues are the same. You know, it doesn't matter whether you're just a Filipina or an Emirati or an Indian woman or a woman from, from the West, a European or American, I think women have the same issues. And if we can foster uh, that spirit that we can help each other and, uh, you know, uh, address our challenges, I think all of us will come out as better persons. So we'd like to see uh, even more integration with the multinational community here and, uh, you know, uh, facilitate the growth of women, not only of Filipinas in the future. Community leaders and experts in various fields such as business, science, fashion and finance were on hand to, sh to share tips and success secrets. Among the topics discussed included grooming, financial management, reproductive health and career. Whatever experiences and trainings they have acquired through the years of their uh, career, they have to use it uh, intelligently they have to uh, apply the values which the ethics and the values which they have learned from the previous organization or from the experience from the working experiences which they have acquired through the years and then lastly is uh, at least every day make sure that they will achieve or take an extra mile of their life to achieve and to grow by further studying or advancement of their uh, education. Twelve Red Bull ex-fighters returned to Dubai over the weekend and gave more than 10,000 spectators a show never to be forgotten. From flying bike tricks to freestyle motocross stunts, the concept has certainly grown to become one of the most adrenaline fueled events across the world. Supported by Du and in collaboration with Ima, among others, the event showcased the most talented competitors in the industry. Before arriving in Dubai, the riders initially kicked off their world tour for 2013 in Mexico. Mexico City on the 8th of March and will soon visit the USA, Japan and Madrid and then finally end off the journey in Pretoria, South Africa. Marking their third visit to the Emirates, the X-Fighters crew made their first stop off at the Mohammed bin Rashid Boulevard, which is a change to last year's venue, the Walks Jumeirah Beach Residence. With the backdrop of the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa in downtown Dubai, the risk-taking riders took full advantage of the spectacular 3.5-kilometer strip and push the boundaries of the sport. In first position, Spain's Danny Torres beat defending champion Levi Sherwood of New Zealand by a score of 3-2 on a challenging dirt course. In third position is the flying Frenchman Thomas Pages, who mastered leaps of up to 30 metres in distance and 15 metres high. Next stop for the finalists is Glen Helen Raceway in the States. 
And finally, looking to other news now, an eclectic collection of contemporary art exclusively created by renowned artists from the Indian subcontinent, titled Vivid Strokes, is being showcased at Dubai's Arabian Ranchers Golf Club. The exhibition was opened on Friday evening to an elite group of VIP guests ahead of the official inauguration, which took place today at 10 a.m. The series is, is carried out by an organization, Artsist, a Dubai-based initiative to promote emerging artists. Artists. Everyone from art collectors to connoisseurs are all welcome. Riyam F. Said, the curator of the collection, stated that interiors of modern homes were kept in mind. She added that, he, that she wanted to offer a mix of abstract and figurative artworks, which display interesting pieces in diverse forms, shapes, sizes, textures, and even prices, which range from anywhere from 500 US dollars to over 10,000. Over 20 participants will have their creative on display to the, till the 16th of April till 8 p.m. daily. For more information, you can visit artsess.org. The collection uh, which are on display have been handpicked uh, by me, and it's uh, basically the theme this time are uh, as uh, modern homes. Like what I realized in Dubai, the usually the homes here are very modern, and people like to have something which is uh, contemporary in nature. And most of the works which I promote is from the subcontinent. Young people like us, you know, we should think about at least investing in a piece of art every year, uh, at least to start with. And you know, they'll see the value of the artwork in the next five years is definitely going to grow. So I would suggest uh, to all young couples who are in Dubai based, they should start looking at investing at a good piece of art because definitely the value is appreciating and uh, it's, it's, uh, it brings a warmth in the house and the whole look and feel of the house changes. So that's my simple suggestion.